So I pictured the vision was a masculine. He was sitting at a bar. It was dark. And it was like a bar that he frequents. People know him. And it was different random women, not too many. The bar wasn't packed out or nothing like that. But it was just like a couple of different women, random women who approached this masculine, um, you know, in a flirtatious way. And he, you know, in the vision, it was like he was shrugging them off his shoulders. Like they touched his shoulder and he would shrug them off. Like he just was rejecting women. And they were surprised because this masculine normally doesn't behave this way towards them. But the reason why he's in this energy at the bar getting drunk is because he really misses you, whoever you are. So let's see here, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this vision I received? It was a vision, it's like, it was dark. It was like it had a strobe light or something going in there, but it was dark and it wasn't that many people in the bar, but it was it was two different women who came up to this man trying to just speak to him and flirt with him and he was just not going, okay? And he was he was drinking, but it was because he missed you. He was he's really upset about you, whoever you are, Queen of Cups, okay? He misses you. Who is this we talking about? We have the moon card and we have the world in reverse flipped out here. Okay. He doesn't want it to be over, but he's not sure about how you feel. You are his ideal love choice and he, he wants to take action towards you. He feels like his intuition is telling him to do so with this Knight of Wands. But he doesn't, he doesn't, he does not want to be hurt or betrayed in any way. Like he doesn't want to reconnect with you and then you cut him down. Okay, that's what I'm getting. This is his fear. This is why he has not apologized, tried to make a connection, bridge the gap in any way. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? What ha We have the High Priestess and we have the Ten of Pentacles. But he knows that he wants to be with you. Okay. He knows that you and him could have a Ten of Pentacles together if y'all could just get it together. Okay. But I'm picking up that part of the reason why y'all ain't got it together is because of his doing which is why he's the one sitting at a bar getting drunk. You ain't sitting at no bar getting drunk. He is. We have the star because he's received truth and clarity about who you really are. I mean, everybody waking up here lately. Hell. Oh, and even I'm going to say this because I could feel the, the, the tizziness, the girls, the boys was in a tizzy about <laughs> that post. I made on my community board about I will always love my twin flame no matter what. It's true. I will always love my twin flame no matter what went down between us because that's my twin flame. That love is endearing. That love just don't go away. If that's truly your twin flame, you probably have forgiven this person for all kinds of things. And they probably have forgiven you for all kinds of things. But no matter how much y'all fall out, y'all still going to love each other. Okay, that's part of that divine connection. That's why they say you can't truly cut the cord from your twin flame. You may not be with them. You may not even be interacting with them. But that spiritual connection, that love will always be there. And this masculine has received truth and clarity about you, whoever you are, Queen of Cups. He's realizing that no matter what, no matter who, no matter when, why, where, or how, you and him will always love each other and y'all will always be spiritually connected. He is having a hard time dealing with this. 
because you and him are not in contact yet you he knows that you are his foundation you are supposed to be his foundation in the physical realm you're already his foundation in the spiritual realm he knows that you are where his freedom lies okay because the four of wands talks about freedom as well he knows that you are his divine counterpart you are supposed to be his wife the queen of pentacles is falling right up under the queen of cups yet this man is not saying anything to you. This man has withdrawn from you even. This is also why he's in despair because he regrets his actions. He regrets putting this connection in the five of pentacles when this is a connection that should be being blessed by a, by a higher authority. I almost said a minister. So maybe this man has thought about marrying you. Okay. He knows he shouldn't have had his divine partner in no five of pentacles. Okay. He he's this hyphen also talks about the level of wisdom he's acquired about the nature of the relationship between the two of y'all. This man knows that you are his twin flame. We have the Knight of Swords. But he is he is very ashamed of his actions, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. We have the Nine of Swords. He's, he knows his actions cause destruction between the two of y'all. He knows that he is the culprit in this situation. So if you have your guard up to him, he can't fault you for that. We have the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Wands back to back. He can't fault you for that. He knows that, okay? He knows that he did a lot, a whole hell of a lot that most people would consider to be unforgivable. So if you walked away because you were just tired of being beaten down on, because that's what this energy is giving me with this 10 of wands, like you didn't took a lot off of this man. You've forgiven this man for a lot only for him to go back and do some more. And so you just said to hell with it. I just, I love him, but I have to love him from a distance. Okay. This is what you did. And you most definitely are a divine feminine too. And you having a victory with this six of wands and this ace of cups, you deciding not to let this man disrespect you, no matter who he was to you, bossed you up. Okay, you got the victory and you sitting in the Ace of Cups right now. Whether you have this Four of Wands connection with him or not. See, this is why I be talking about how during the Twin Flame journey, if you, and you express to your Twin Flame what it is and they don't want to get on board and you go ahead and you do what you got to do, you do your part of what God instructed y'all to do, you will be blessed. Your cup will overflow. Okay, but this is also part of the journey for your twin flame to see you actually achieve those things that you told them about that y'all could have achieved together. God be trying to show them, hey, this you could be sitting in the Ace of Cups with your divine counterpart if you would have accepted and executed the assignment. And this masculine is also realizing this. So maybe he's having some financial issues. We have the chariot. Again, you move forward, did what you had to do, and you were successful. You did not let this person's behavior stop you from doing what God told you to do. And now it's there at the point where they ain't got no choice but to understand the assignment because they kept rejecting it. And that rejection caused things to crumble in their life. Can I get some? In? We have the devil, okay? And we have the seven of swords. That rejection caused them to step into other realms, fuck with other types of energies. They didn't want to fuck with that divine energy. So what you think they fucking with? Karmic seven of swords energy, okay? 
you moved on to success and the ace of cups and this person moved on to the seven of swords and the devil child what happened here holy spirit we have the six of pentacles and i see two female hands on this card with this masculine we have the six of pentacles okay you see those two females hands those are those karmic devil energies that he moved towards after he left the divine energy behind okay and in his attempt to try to balance those connections he became spiritually entrapped in some bullshit and some karmic cycles and some manipulation and deceit okay and the holy spirit says that's the truth now and he's he's seeing that his choice to reject his queen of cups led him straight to the devil, led him straight to some type of spiritual imprisonment. So he realized that him refusing your love is what tipped the scales in his life, okay? We have temperance, but it came out in reverse. Ever since this man... He don't want to refuse your love anymore because his life is out of whack. I don't think, I can't remember. I don't even know if I've ever even gotten temperance in reverse. This man is all out of alignment. He definitely was getting drunk. I'm talking about stupid drunk. Like grunting, shaking his shoulder, shaking somebody off his shoulder. Like just, he wasn't even using words to these women like, ugh. Like they got the hint from his body language in that grunt that he that he made. Like he ain't even. This man's in the temperance in reverse. And he knows it's because he refused to accept your love offer. And now he wants to accept your love offer. Okay, with this four of cups in reverse, he wants to have a passionate new beginning with you. 1221 on the phone. But he, he really is upside down about how to do that, how to balance things between the two of y'all. What else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for us to know here? We have the King of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles. This masculine energy, okay, he finally then decided to pop out here, okay? He is single. I think that that's just more clarity on what I saw. This man is not messing with different women. Ooh, spiritual confirmation. Excuse me, honey. I had a verb child. I'm trying to tell you, this man ain't messing with nobody else. 1313 on the phone. He done moved on to calmer waters away from those seven of wands, devil connections that he was engaging in. Like, he might not even be dealing with nobody too funny. I'm talking about not just romantically, in general, like, we have the Eight of Wands. Because he, he want to move towards you. He want to communicate with you. He don't want to talk to none of these other people. He want to talk to this divine feminine out here, Okay. You know how they say drunk men tell no tales? This man wanted to get drunk so that he could fully express to you how he felt. That he know he was wrong for how he did you and he just wanted to be able to let it all go. So he know he can't do that sober. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have judgment. Okay. He knows he, he needs to communicate with you, but he, he decided to let that liquor talk for him. You know, give him some liquid courage. That's what they used to call that shit, okay? And that's what he was going to use to help him take action and connect with you. But I'm hearing right now that he tried to contact you and he could not get through. And it ain't even like you got him blocked. Your whole number is different. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? 
And so this man did try to connect with you. He did try to contact you while he was drunk and let you know that he was sorry. Look, that's all them drinks. He probably didn't. He might have damn knocked something over on, off the bar, child. 1515 on the phone. He was so toe up. But this man might have even called you from the bar. But your number didn't change. I heard that. It wasn't no block energy. Because I feel like this motherfucker right here. I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. This motherfucker called you private. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. Because he knew you probably wouldn't answer if you saw his number. And your number ain't even the same. We got the nine of cups. He was sure that he was going to be able to speak to you. Look, this... Y'all, look at this man's face. Don't that look like somebody who didn't have one too many? Okay? He he was very satisfied with this decision to contact you to get drunk, get that liquid courage up, to contact you and to let you know, 1616 on the phone, how he really felt. He just wanted to let it all go. Okay? And he tried to do that. And he he was sure that he was going to be able to speak with you and express himself. Let him know, let you know how he felt. Tell you the truth. And offer you some kind of commitment. Okay? This man was ready to bear his soul, honey. But I am getting that he could not get through. That number no longer works for you. And so he's really fucked up now because he it's like I, w I did too little too late with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. This man just knew that if he could talk to you 1717 on the phone that the Wheel of Fortune would be in y'all favor and that y'all would reconnect and y'all would have this divine partnership that he realizes y'all should have always had, that he denied you for so long. He was about to make it right. I don't know who this is for. I kind of feel like, dang. Because I, you know, I don't I can't tell you what to do. Maybe you might see, I can't even, I'm not even gonna say that. Because I don't know who this is for. And I don't want somebody to act upon what I say. And then get their feelings hurt or get embarrassed or something that this is not. Because, see, this is the other thing that I want to emphasize as well. If somebody you was talking to that you thought was your twin flame hurt you, did some fucked up ass shit to you, and you can't fucking stand them, and you don't ever want to talk to them ever again, that wasn't your twin flame, baby. That was some type of karmic soulmate, 18, 18 on the phone, okay, because... If that was truly your twin flame, that motherfucker ain't going nowhere, okay? Even if y'all ain't never going to be together ever again, he always going to have a place in your heart, and you're always going to have a place in his heart, okay? So, I hope that this masculine realizes that, that you know how he feel that you know that he cares for you still you don't know you haven't heard him really say it but you can feel it okay you know this man still got love for you he cared for you and he was trying to express that to you but see this is what he get for playing and i have to say that so he's learned look we have death out here He's learning a hard lesson right now because he really don't know how to get in contact with you. I'm hearing that. Whoever this is, there ain't nobody he can go ask for your number. He upset because there's no way for him to put work in to reconnect with you now. And he knows that you are his ideal counterpart, that you are his empress. He upset. There ain't nobody that he can call to get your number. Okay, to win at all costs in this situation. 
There ain't nobody who he fuck with that fuck with you. And it's really given that you might don't even fuck with nobody. Coming out here as the Queen of Wands to the Empress back to back. Your shit on lock. Everybody ain't privy to your energy. So, you know, he really would have to go through some limbs to actually get in contact with you. That's what I'm hearing. To reconnect with you. And so he upset now because he think that this connection may have be truly have truly come to an end. He upset. But he played. He heartbroken now. I'm trying to tell you, this man, this man upset with the nine of wands and the three of swords. Cause he realizes who you truly are. But see, I'm really getting that he played all day and all night too. He did. He didn't had time. He didn't had ample opportunities to make this right. So, Holy Spirit, how is he gonna be able to make this right moving forward, or is it truly over for now? We have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Cups. So he said, "Well, fuck that." Twenty one twelve on the phone. I'm going to find me somebody to collaborate with to get that damn number, to get in contact with this empress, 2121, on the phone. Because I'm going to make that damn love offer. And I don't care what I got to do, how slick I got to be, to slide that offer on in there. But I'm going to make that connection. Whoever I got to collaborate with. You see how this man is um knocking away at that, at that stone? At that brick wall. Oh, he finna bust through that current brick wall that's up between the two of y'all. Okay, that was a rhyme, Holy Spirit. Thank you. He said he finna bust down that brick wall that is in between the two of y'all. 2202 on the phone. Okay, so I don't know who he planning on collaborating with. But he knows that you are his divine counterpart and that this is a divine connection. Y'all are supposed to be in the ultimate partnership. It ain't gonna get no better than you. You the best. Girl, you out here as, let's run it back. The queen of cups, the queen of swords, the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands, and the motherfucking empress, and the ace of cups, okay? And now the ace of pentacles. Child, can't nobody touch you. And he know that. That's why he was um, shrugging them hoes off of his damn shoulder like that. I don't mean to call them hoes, but I'm just saying. You know, he ain't going. Because he know what he could have had. And I'm telling you, baby, ain't nobody trumping this energy out here on this table for whoever I'm talking to. Okay? You done came out here as every damn form of divinity, feminine divinity that it is in the day. Except for the nine of pentacles, because you ain't finna be single for long, poo-poo. We got strength. Just hold tight, okay? 2323 23 on the phone. This motherfucker here, I don't mean to call him no motherfucker, but I'm picking up on some pursuit of happiness energy. He gonna do whatever he got to do to reconnect with you, okay? He gonna do that. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know about this energy here? Child, what did I say? You had came out here as everything else except for the Nine of Pentacles. And then you done popped out here as this Nine of Pentacles. But this is speaking to how you sitting up somewhere. Sitting pretty. Probably got your head scarf and your head wrap on now, honey. Waiting. You sitting back chilling. You don't chase. Okay. You 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 are chased, okay? You ain't chasing them. They chasing you. And you know I'm picking up something here from you. I'm about to pull out another day. It's almost like you can feel this masculine getting his shit together. And you know he don't have a way to contact you, but you sitting and you going to see if he really is as divine as you thought he always was. If he's as clever Okay, as a king of wands is. He done already came out here as a king of wands. You want to see if he going to be able to stick and move and get, get to you. 
I'm getting that. You ain't finna contact this man. If he really want to get in contact with you, that's how you, that's what you're saying now. If he really want to get in contact with you, he will. He'll find a way. Cut the deck on the three of wands, child. So let's see. What's going to be the outcome of this situation, Holy Spirit? Because you know who you are and you know you ain't got to chase not, not no one, not man. Okay? And you ain't either. So if he really wants you, he'll do what he got to do to get you. Let's go. We got the King of Pentacles. Child. Hmm. Like I said, this man wants you. He going to come get you. He going to find a way, child. Emails still work, honey. Look at what then came out now. He going to find a way to get to you and have this partnership with you. And that's just that. You are his divine counterpart. You are his twin flame. This man realized that he ain't playing around with nobody else. Whoever this is, this ooh, ooh, whoever this emperor energy is, you have truly changed this man from afar. I'm hearing him rejecting you and you moving on really taught him a lesson about how people can be. And how good you are. How good you were to him. We have the king of cups. Yo. This man ain't playing no games tonight. I don't know who this masculine is. Okay. But this twin flame right here. He is finna find a way. Yeah he was at the bar drunk. He used that liquid courage to try to contact you. And let you know how he felt. But he couldn't get through. And it's almost like that. That has put fuel under his behind to really get in gear and really come get you now. Because it ain't that easy. You can't just block your number and call private and spill out your guts because you done got drunk and think it's all it's going to be all good. Now, that's what I'm hearing. That's why that didn't work out. He really is going to have to step it up. He is really going to have to transform his behavior if he wants to see a transformation occur between the two of y'all. And he know this. He know he going to have to step his game up if he want to have a Ten of Pentacles with you. Okay? But he is definitely dominating his energy. Both of y'all energy is very strong. But his energy is very dominant right now because... He had that weak moment at the bar, but I'm telling you, it's like, he know it's even more indication because maybe he's done that before. I just heard we had the Ace of Cups. He's called you and spilled out his guts before while he's drunk and that did it before. He He's expressed how much he loves and cares for you while he was under the influence before and, you know, that sold you. In the past, but that ain't selling no more. You know, he gonna have to come a little bit harder. A lot bit harder. Okay? Because that toxic shit is played out. If you truly have an Ace of Cups for this Divine Feminine, that toxic shit, that toxic communication, that shit ain't going no more. And that's what he see. If he truly wants to have a future with you, then he got to elevate... A whole hell of a lot more than calling you when he drunk, hoping that you'll forgive him because he bearing his soul. And yeah, like I said, a drunk man don't tell no tales, but you deserve better than that. That's what I'm hearing. You deserve a sober apology, a sober explanation, and a sober reconnection. Okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Sun. The Seven of Cups energy here, I feel like, is how he's been dreaming about what it could be if he can just get, get it worked out, okay? The possibilities, what he hopes 
can happen even if it's not currently his reality i'm hearing but he knows that in order for him to have peace and happiness period he has got to have a rebirth with you you are the light okay you are the driving force Behind this man right now, I'm telling you, your energy, your him not having access to you, everything that he experienced with others, with this seven of swords and devil energy that came out before, he just realizes how special and divine you are. You are the sun energy as well. And he knows if he wants to get back in the light, in your good graces, he got a lot that he going to have to juggle. He got a lot that he's going to have to Manipulate so that it will fall the right way. No more bullshit. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you the insight and clarity that you were looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it does not apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.